Yes, Sersky. What's shaking out there in them digital streets? This should play a partner. What? And this is an episode of the Dropbox. Let's get into it. Yeah, what's going on out there, man? Y'all remember like, share, and subscribe. And on this episode, I got a clip from Wet 100 in the clubhouse talking about the wiretap. I also want to play the clip of the Jim Jones wiretap. And I'm going to give my commentary at the end. So let's get to it. Stop DMing me about the whack, whack up here, bro. Jay Who Bundy keep DMing you, bro? Irritated. What's going on, my nigga? Who want to hey, Who want to talk to me? God damn it! Bring P money up. He want to talk to you. Oh, he P money want to talk about man. Bring up P money. Bring up P money. He talking about white way pull up to Jim Jones room yesterday. Jim Jones. Who was the kid? Bring that nigga up because I'm gonna tell him why he pulled up. <laughs> Bring, right, he right must up be a New York nigga. Where P money? Where he at? P money. I see P money in the audience. Hey, what is he talking? Here goes so for everybody listening. Here go the problem I had with Jim Jones' room, right? I don't fall for the Jedi mind tricks, right? Jim Jones is a rapper, and this was not a motherfucking rap session. So when a nigga in there saying, I put on for the city, you heard? I put the city on my back like Snoop did Cali, you heard? You know what I'm saying? You heard? And I did this for her. Look, all oh, that's cool. We talked about this motherfucking conspiracy goddamn uh, recording that we all didn't heard. Why won't you, we heard, address that shit? That's what we wanted, we heard. He tap danced around it, and this would amaze me. Everybody in that room, it was a bunch of New York dudes, act like they didn't hear this dude avoiding the question, my nigga. I don't want to hear what you did, what songs you did, what happened. We talking about this fucking wiretap where you are given an order to commit a violent felony that was carried out and your whole neighborhood went to jail for conspiracy and wiretaps and you were never put in cuffs. That's what niggas is talking about. Now, I didn't say it. 6 9 said it. You want to target me for some damn reason. You know, I ain't tripping because you're going to come to the West. You're going to go to bed. I ain't tripping one bit. You're going to come try to shoot a video and we're going to pull up. The where is to make sure my team secure yours and you bringing your ass out to the middle of that street. We're going to hurt that for sure. That's why ass. I wouldn't no need to go in the room. The niggas in the room, one thing about this room, we're going to address what it is, nigga. Hey, this is what's on the table. What's happening? And nobody want to put it on the table. He definitely, he definitely, he definitely humiliating and shoddy right now. Right? Well, we got your picture up there next to the post. You know, like, when you, when, you, when you go to YouTube and World Star, they got his picture next to this shit. Hey, everything he say, they got a, a, a split screen with shiny picture next to this shit. I said, this shit crazy, son. <laughs> but he's doing that. He doing that to make K9 think he don't got no relationship with Boy Boy. That's what he trying to do. That's what he trying to do. He trying to live. He trying to separate himself. That's cool, but now he got to get violated. Yeah, super violated. Super. Super duper, so ain't too much he can really do unless he gonna walk, run around with a hundred armed securities all day. You know what I'm saying? He gonna get shot up. He, he ain't getting enough money for that. That's a fact. That's a fact. And he just canceled all his shows. And he ain't a gang member no more. Nah, he ain't nothing. That's, that's what Nick, that's, that's what Shotty needs to make sure he do. Nah, we tell that nigga that he's not a gang member no more. He he kicked out the whip. He was never a gang member. Nigga, Shotty need to expose him. Like, nah, of course he never did do. Yeah, they got a TMZ. TMZ want to talk to niggas on Monday. So Shotty like, he want me. Um, Crippy. Um, I think he said. Nah, you don't need to be on no TMZ. Let Shotty be on TMZ. I'm not gonna get on it, but he wanted me to talk to nigga and tell him nigga. What happened, like, cause you know, nah. my, 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 my lap first, you feel me? So he went. Nah, you don't say nothing. You let Shotty handle that shit, bro. You don't say nothing. So don't say nothing? Nah, Shotty gotta handle that shit. He get on TMZ, he need to talk his talk, he need to talk his shit. You dig? Mm -hmm. And he need to be very, very, very articulate about what he's saying, why he put, the, why he made people think that nigga was a gang member. He needs to let niggas know that he was never a gang member. He was always a money, a money ploy for the gang members. And he got to figure it out. But they gonna have to violate Shorty because Shorty on some bullshit. Yeah.
You sure you think he gonna be going to the strip clubs and all that type of shit? Like, Shotty better get on his A game. <laughs> Uh, so I, I already know, no, so I, you know that nigga's a demon, homie. You know that nigga live for shit like this, homie. He gonna treat, he gonna treat that nigga like he was blowing Chinese shit up. He gonna be wrong with that nigga, shit up. He don't got nothing to lose no more. This is all he had. <laughs> well, he better get the violating. He better stalk shorty every move. <laughs> One of them security better get hit. Some, some better happen. Uh, nigga better stop mobbing, nigga. He better start doing some. Once he start tearing the security down, ain't no security gonna want, gonna want that job. He gonna have to stay in the house pretty soon. That's it. That's what happens. Once once security get injured, them niggas like, nah, he's too much of a liability. I ain't I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna protect nobody that know that is causing harm to us. No. <laughs> and that's all these niggas gotta say. One shot, you let niggas know, man, bro, we gonna tear the security up, bro. We not even worried about you, bro. You the you, you ain't even a fake. You ain't even. We gonna tear the security up. <laughs> Once niggas start doing that, the security gonna be like, listen, bro, I ain't in it for this, bro. You don't have to. You don't have to do this shit on your own time, bro. You can't. The, the, the security out in New York can't run around with fire on them, right? Nah, them niggas, or, or unless they unless they ex police, but it don't matter at that time because they doing an illegal job. <clears throat> Mm. You dig? Mm. And it don't matter because if shot ain't run down on them, they can't pull their gun out to shoot nobody unless a gun is pulled out. Change. Yeah, family. So, um, my thoughts on just the situation in general. I think that really the point of contention right now is the wiretap. So I went and found the uh, leaked audio clip of the wiretap. And to be honest with you, there isn't anything here to indict Jim Jones on. He never explicitly directed violation towards 6 9 He just said, they gonna have to violate him. You know, he never said, I want you to specifically do this to said individual. That never happened in this particular conversation. I don't know if it's a, another leaked audio clip somewhere where this nigga is saying something different, but from what I was able to find, that doesn't happen in this clip. More importantly, I mean, Jim is telling his Jim is telling this guy, man, don't you say nothing. Like, be quiet. And he doesn't. And when he speaks on them or they or who who they are, he never specifically says for anyone a specific group to violate uh, Takashi Six Nine. He never gives any intricate details to the violation of Six Nine. He's not like, okay, I want you to go over here and whoop the whoop and this, that, and the third. He didn't organize or orchestrate anything. So them playing, if they play this in court, it's like, eh, you like, like you can't put this on anyone. So as far as him not speaking on it, there isn't anything to speak on. Unless it's, like I said, unless it's another audio clip that I don't know nothing about. And if it is, then God damn it, hit me up, hit me up on the chat and we can talk about it. But what say you? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And on that note, we out the box with it. Do you heard me? <laughs>